Oh, you hear the neighbor's dogs over there? I don't know if they hunt with them or do anything. Um, hey, Fess. I'm not using Mr. Fess today. I'm using this cane. <clears throat> when I first started using it, <clears throat> um, I had a habit of looking down at my feet, kind of watching, if you will, what the cane's doing, just focusing on the, uh, the single little touches. Feeling if it's touching grass, gravel. But uh, no one wants to be walking around with their head down. So you put your glasses on, a hat with a brim, and raise your head up and you think about what's ahead of you. When you get focused looking down, thinking about point A, point B, point B, right into the bushes. You do that, you totally lose track. I didn't do that on purpose. Um, but I did fill the water hose, so I'm almost to my little gate here. <clears throat> but yeah, you get your head down and you'll be thinking point. One, two, three, and the next thing you know, You've passed up your um, your turn. You completely lose track of where you're at. Come on, Fess. Over here, buddy. So typically, I just do... Um, I'm covering the space right here before the left foot touches. Then before the right foot. Left. Right. Left. hang to the left until the stick hits on the gravel here across the hose again and that'll indicate where I want to turn left in my little driveway here so I'm just getting my driveways and walkways and things set up a lot of planning to do um, now I just sort of angle over here across the water hose again walk beside this big water tank So my dog, I almost bet he's pointing towards where I want to go. Just because he has been my guide dog and worked for me for eight years or so. Yeah, he took me right to the step. How about that? Good boy, Fess. <clears throat> so, even though I was using my cane, my doggy still came through to help me out. Here you go. Here's the streets we made. He just loves. Ow. <clears throat> Good boy. Alright, thanks for walking with me.